What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Today we are doing ISO toilet. It's been so long since we did an ISO toilet reaction. I don't know. I feel like probably a week or something like that. But my boy ISO is lit. Look at that. That we got a million. I ain't gonna lie. This is really Moby's direct competitor. I don't want to pit the two against each other. But which one you like better, Moby or ISO toilet? They both make really great analyzation videos. So I don't know, man. They both my guys. But today we watching ISO toilet, the legendary plunger cameraman. Who is he? Uh, he's gonna analyze, I guess. Who plunger man is where he started and i actually want to watch this because anything cameraman is everything cozy hi everyone in this video we will discuss the most mysterious character from the skibidi toilet series the legendary well no I, I don't think he's the most mysterious i think that's that's the agent that you just showed on the left side plunger cameraman who he is when did he first appear what is his role and why the plunger will be the ultimate tool in the fight against the toilets watch the video until the end to not miss the most interesting things plunger cameraman was first now you know how to make a video too it's a good hook intro everything let me turn my phone on silent shown to us as an active character in episode 48 but this is not his first appearance just like with the tv mans the creator prepared us for the new character in advance we saw him in episodes 43 and yep i remember seeing him right there look at the squad the gang 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 Bro, they all look so cool, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They all look mad fine. And 45. They look fine. But this is far from his first appearance. Let's deal with it, and you'll be very surprised how long this character has been on the show. First, let's talk about what we know about him. He is a very brave fighter, ready to sacrifice himself. He fights with two plungers, and by the way, he's not the only one who uses them. I'll show you later when the cameramen first use the plungers and why they're so powerful. He has a black coat, gray pants, black shirt, and a red tie. That boy got a whole... I feel like he changes outfits very frequently. I'm pretty sure he had a different outfit in the newest episode. Correct me if I'm wrong. He also has a black camera, while most cameramen have a white one. Nah, I'm bugging. He had the same one. It's just the trench coat is so tough. Let's explore what the difference is. We first see the black camera in episode 3. It's placed on trailers. Maybe they are not even weapons, but just monitoring vehicles, like journalists. This episode is the first time the cameramen appear. I'm so confused about this scene right here. Because clearly camera people are for humanity. But where are the humans in this show, bro? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Skibidi got a lot of explaining to do. Yo, the fuck boom, you better not mess it up, bro. He better... Yo, he, uh, I ain't gonna lie, he could really do some crazy-ish with this, yo. In episode 8, we see a whole army of cameramen. Some of whom have black cameras. Also, as we see, they are all wearing different shirts. So the clothes don't really affect anything here. In episode 9, just such an agent dances and lures a squad of police toilets behind him. Yeah, he's trolling them. In episode 10, he's also the one who flushes the Skibidi priest. Is he? Oh my god, I got so much respect for him now. I was wondering who flushed the priest, bro. W, yeah, I ain't gonna I lie. Doubt yeah, this he's guy tough. is the plunger cameraman. Oh. But at the same time, he's following more serious orders than most of the other agents. I'm going to assume that the black camera is just an upgrade and that agents are more trained than normal. In episode 14, we see a squad of cameramen, but they all have white shirts. And as we remember, the plunger cameraman has a black shirt, so he hasn't shown up here yet. Also, the entire squad was destroyed by the huge metal toilet. Yo, that is tragic. They all die? Okay, bruh. Similarly, obviously I know that they all died, but just seeing it again and it being told back to me is just wild. In episode 24, we see that there are also speakermen with a black speaker. They're also few in number. Ooh, so they got assassins too? Not better than mine. But in episode 32, when we see a squad of speakermen in front of us, they're all with normal gray speakers. Perhaps in the future, we will see an- Perhaps in the future, they're going extinct, bro. Don't gas them. Another brave warrior, but already from the race of speakermen. But back to the plunger cameraman. For the first time, we see his appearance only in episode 26. Perhaps then it was accidental, and Dafuk did not think that he would become a legend. First of all, he has a black camera and doesn't have a white shirt. Like I'm not gonna lie, at that point, he might as well be like a legacy hero. Like he's a legacy character, bro. Like if there was ever a, a game for, for Skibidi, he's a he's a choosable character. The big cameraman here. Secondly, he is still bravely running to attack the Skibidi toilets like in episode 50. By the way, the operator was never a plunger cameraman. Although in some episodes, he was a scientist cameraman and even a little spy car in episode 27. The nearby car here also has a black camera, as well as the anti-parasite cannon has the same ones on the sides. Further into the series, we see different cameramen with a black camera, but they are all dressed differently. 
in the analysis of episode 49, I assumed that the dead cameraman is a plunger cameraman, but that is not the case. We already know from episode 50 that he's alive, but I didn't pay attention to one detail at the time. Plunger cameraman has gray pants, while the destroyed one from episode 49 has black, black ones. Yeah. Now let's look at why the plunger actually works against the Skibidi toilets. Yo, he just be forcing it down into that. He, uh, uh. As we remember, the most obvious way to deal with Skibidi is to flush them. But that doesn't work for everyone. And yes, the toilets started protecting their flush button. And in the new episodes, we don't see the toilets have cisterns at all. There's some kind of device in its place. Now remember how in episode 41 we saw the Skibidi bathtub. When the Titan TV man showed up, all the toilets flushed themselves. But how did the bathtub do it if it doesn't have a flush cistern? We conclude that the Skibidi can flush themselves anyway, and it destroys them. Now right. look at this shots. How in episode 31, Big Cameraman steps on Skibidi, and he flushes himself. You, know, you can force them down. You think that's, so that's how, you think maybe a giant plunger is going to be the end of G-Man? Maybe. Without a cistern. It seems that this is a way to fight against the toilet Skibidi without flushing. This is most likely why the plunger was used by the cameramen, including the legendary plunger cameraman. The first time we saw the plunger was in episode 39, but here it was used in a little different way. The cameraman simply covered Skibidi Toilet's face with it so he couldn't get his bearings, then flushed him. Some have assumed that the operator is the plunger cameraman in this episode, but that's not true. He has a white Note shirt. the color of the shirt. It's yeah. a regular cameraman who used a new way to fight the toilets. In episode 40, we see two plungers lying on the ground, one of which we pick up. Here, we are also not on behalf of the plunger cameraman because, again, we have a white shirt. We also see that the average cameraman tried to use a plunger but failed. <laughs> Yo, why is he going in, bro? Chill. We never saw how the plunger cameraman uses this plunger, but in episode 48, we can see that two toilets are neutralized with plungers sticking out of them. Meanwhile, in episode 39, the plunger is flushed with Skibidi. It's unclear to me how that's possible. But the existence of the Skibidi toilets their own isn't very scientific either. So let's leave that point out. We'll just conclude that the plunger cameraman uses the tool in some other way. In episode 43, he sits with the others. But as soon as the TV men teleport away, our hero grabs the plunger and prepares to fight against the Skibidi toilets. The TV man teleport away when the battle's getting started. Surprise, surprise. In episode 45, he's just watching the Titan from around the corner. Why he's there, I don't know yet. But in episode 48, we see how easily he takes down five great... It seems like he's always in the mix, though. Wherever the action is, he needs to be there, especially for his people, as he should. ...toilets. And in episode 50, he goes to fight an the army of huge monsters <laughs> alone. This guy is desperate, but very brave. I'd really like to see him in battle against the toilets and the other Skibidi monsters. And I think we'll be getting a reveal of this character soon. Somehow I'm sure he'll be the subject of the new season of Skibidi Toilets. Every time a creator prepares us for a new character, they do it in advance. And then that character surprises the viewer. That's what happened with the TV men. That's what happened with Cameraman Titan. And that's what's going to happen with the Plunger Cameraman. I don't think his story is going to end quickly. I think it's just beginning. I'm guessing we'll see the invention of huge plungers that will work great against big Skibidi toilets. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Maybe even after TV Man Titan is restored, he'll be upgraded with the plungers. I admire how Dafuk added the plunger cameraman to his series, and I'm really excited for this character to be revealed. As we remember, the main G toilet cannot be flushed. Likewise, he also doesn't hurry to flush himself just because he sees the Titan Cinema Man screen. He's a very powerful toilet, and he needs a special way. I'm sure that way would be a giant plunger. But who's going to use it? Titan Cinema Man? Maybe after Titan Speaker Man is freed from the Skibidi Parasite. Yeah, I feel it like it's only right, bro. You gotta let Speaker Man take G-Man down low key. You got it, bro. For all that he did to him, you gotta let him take the final blow, bro. I feel like that's only right. Influence. He'll equip a giant plunger. But the most epic option is if the small but very brave legendary plunger cameraman fights against G-Toilet. Yo, comment down below right now. Who y'all think will have the final blow at Jimmy, man? And do you think... Jimmy dying is going to be the end of the series. I don't think so, but I think that's just the start. If after the G-Toilets battle against the three Titans, Skibidi wins, and Plunger Cameraman successfully defeats G-Toilet alone, it will be really legendary. All in all, I really like this character, and I think you guys too. I would love to see your theories and assumptions about the legendary Plunger Cameraman. Write it in the comments. Now it's time to see a few of your theories in the comments. First, 
One of my theories is that Titan Cameraman hasn't been fully upgraded yet. And after hearing about that their base is being under attack, he was sent out to help. And when the fight was over, he went back to where he came from to get fully upgraded. I agree. If Titans improve... Well, that's that's been proven wrong. Unless they're freeing the city and then going back for upgrades. Movements aren't finished. We'll see more cool equipment. Also, we haven't seen him shoot from his finger like in episode 23. That's true. That's the move right there. We might even see a plunger as one of Titan's secret weapon. Moving on. And because he took so long to be upgraded is because there were always new improvements to the Skibidi toilets. So they have to keep coming up with stuff that can make the Titan immune to it because the Skibidi scientist makes some new upgrades to the toilets. Sure. Makes sense. Yeah, the Skibidi scientist is crazy. We see his inventions in every episode. But if you constantly improve the Titan against every new toilets, he'll spend all his time in the lab and he needs to fight. Moreover, the... Yo, don't talk, don't talk about him like he ain't... You know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, like he just some sucker that just be getting upgraded and don't be on the field for real. Bro, cut it out, man. Cut it out, bro. Main target is G-Toilet. And I think Titan is already strong enough to defeat Skibidi's leader. Another theory. The TV men did not appear because they are not useful in hand-to-hand -hand battles. Since, as we can see throughout the series, they have never fought hand-to-hand -hand this because their skill and efficiency is more concentrated in attacks by means of the light of the TV. But when I say it, it's cozy you're hating. Cozy, why do you hate TV people? Cozy, cozy, why can't Coco? Bro, I've been saying TV people are soft, bro. They were never in the mix, for real, bro. Yeah, that's a good theory. A lot of you are unhappy that I think TV men are traitors. But I'm just trying to understand what Dafuk is implying and predict what will happen next. Bro, I'm s Me and ISO are locked in! I be trying to tell y'all, bro. This, it, yo, the way that they move is not natural, bro. It don't make no sense. It don't, unless the fuck boom is really lazy, he don't be animating the TV people in episodes, but it don't make sense why there's not more TV people, bro, like, around helping, generally. It don't make sense, bro. I think the TV men are very suspicious, but I hope they really help the cameramen and don't betray them. And it was me, Iso Toilet. Subscribe to my channel so you don't- Iso Toilet, why are you so French with it, boy? All right, man, that was the video, that was the reaction. I really wanted to watch this video, because, I, you know, my boy, legendary cameraman, bro, the plunger god himself, the plunger demon, the one who's going to save everybody. Uh, bro, listen to me when I say this. We got to watch the TV people. And we got to stay loyal to the people that were originally fighting on the side of humanity. Because we didn't see the TV people until late, late until the world was about to be destroyed, bro. So keep that in mind when we talking about the TV people, man. With that being said, make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know what else you want me to react to. And I'll see you on the next one, bro. Peace out.